Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Disha Rathi. I'm so delighted and welcome you for this video of the Google Ads. If you are a business owner and if you want to develop your business via the Google advertisements and now you came into the world of the digital marketing so I would like to first welcome and I would like to congratulate you that finally you took a step for uh, starting the Google Ads for your company or for your website or at least you are learning what it is. So if you want to learn what about the the basic things of the Google Ads, how exactly it works, what are the structures of the Google Ads uh, and it's very important and crucial to understand the things but uh, in this video I'll share with you all about the Google Ads, how it works, how the structure of the Google Ads and uh, really they play a very important role for your business because uh, it is the best thing that Google advertisement platform is uh, admiring to the Google business owners I must say to promote their product or the services on the Google or the Google's partners uh, platform and um, yeah. if you are into the business where you have a lot of competition and a lot of people are there then I would recommend you you should use the Google Ads and you should go for it see the rates of it see the if if you are giving it to any marketing agency then uh, check the rates how much they are charging it's not like that per click uh, someone is charging 5 rupees someone is charging 50 rupees it depends on the keyword to keywords it depends on the brand to brand it depends on the uh, google's uh, what, what google will decide it's on the google's hand itself it's not in the hand of the, any marketing agency they will just charge you they will take the charge of the running the ads or the running the campaigns from the back end um, that is the service charges they will check so you have to check everything like uh, uh, what exactly the google ads how it looks like what types of the google ads uh, are there into the google uh, adwords platform Form. so in this video i'll deep dive everything for you so don't get overrun don't get stressed out and if uh, you don't want to run google ads for now that is also still okay you just see the things learn the things check the rates and all and then take the decision at least to run the google ads and uh, the important thing what i am going to share in this video if you have started the google ads then at least run them for three months yes the three months if you will run the google ads then you will understand uh, what exactly uh, how how to run the campaigns how the campaigns are operating from the back end uh, because if you will uh, be uh, having that consistency in run the ads and google's algorithm will also understand better uh, regarding your competitors regarding your audiences regarding your demographics where to reach out where to how much are the clicks how much are the impressions it will give you the exact and the accurate data if you will run the google ads for at least three months so if you are into the business so it's time to take a risk because uh, without any risk there is uh, I don't think that will be the good outcome and I don't think Google advertisement uh, is an uh, you know it is a uh, expenses it is the asset uh, what they, you should have for your business if you really want to upgrade and stay ahead of the competitors so let's get started with the basics of the google ad and uh, if uh, you will like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment me have you like the video or not thanks so much so let's get started Okay, so let's get started with the important types of the Google Ads and the ad structure of the Google Advertisement Ads. So, uh, basically, uh, uh, short about the Google Ads. Google Ads, formerly known as a Google AdWords, and it is a Google's advertising platform that allows businesses to display ads on Google search engine as well and uh, other Google properties as well. Example, uh, if you are running something hotel kind of business, then you can run your advertisement on the Google search engine and and other Google properties like anybody is uh, you know developed a website regarding the food or uh, you know you can categorize where you want to show your advertisements maybe you can show your advertisements on Sanjeev Kapoor's website as well <laughs> just kidding yes but you can do that if you can target that where you on which platform on which website or the other Google properties of course these properties should be verified by the Google you can display your advertisement on that and that is the best part of the google ads what i uh, basically found so here are the four types of the google advertisements these are the search ad display ads video ads and shopping ads 
okay so this is kind of the search ad uh, and they can display on you know the google maps google shopping list and the websites that are the search partners as i said before okay so you can show your search advertisements on the on this kind of networks and uh, the second type is the display network and in this presentation i will show you the uh, search and the display because these are the most popular ads and the third type is the video types it's a video advertisements they are the advertisements you are aware about the you know uh, you can see on the youtube before starting the video you can get the ads and that is a video ad and the shopping ads um, as well if you are you have an e-commerce website then you can show the shopping list on the uh, search of the google uh, like this okay uh, so here is a search bar the search network ads and the display network ads so display uh, uh, advertisement uh, they are used for the display advertisements like uh, here i can in this image you can see uh, the these ads are displayed so you can uh, display the advertisement on any websites right corner or here like wherever you want to display these are kind of the display ads so uh, you have to you can place the text here as well or the images as well on the sites or uh, within any uh, mobile applications okay now uh, these are the banners and these are the, some of the creatives that what you have to build in to make the google advertisements and of course that is the big task like what you should write on this such a small banner because that uh, whatever you are writing there and uh, the subject line what you are writing the content what you are writing how much you are writing what image quality you choose uh, how graphics uh, uh, your graphic is how much is the quality graphics everything matters a lot because uh, if you are using this display network ads then people will click on to the best graphics and the best thing like whatever your product you have to explain it within a short word and it's a, it's a kind of the difficult thing i must say yeah but yes uh, this is the kind of display art so uh, this is the kind of the advertisements uh, how they look like i just took the screenshot uh, if you will put the work keyword as in suppose the kids wear so here you can see the first two things you can see from the agio then here is the ad means it's an advertisement and it is a search ad okay uh, then this is also the second listing in the google you can see uh, before it uh, amazon is an advertisement ad it means it is a paid ad but the third list the mintra uh, this is not advertisement this is a actual organic search from the google okay so this is how the search ads really work and and the display ads uh, how you, you can work i already explained to you uh, as of uh, display ads are going to use a reach media and the text ads to help in a few areas you will be reaching a wide range of customers with broad interest building brand awareness and customer loyalty using the display ads you are increasing engagement with customers and you have the opportunity to choose more specifically where your ads can appear and to what type of audience so this is the best thing uh, so of the display ads like this is this third point is really very important and you can customize it uh, the wherever type of audience how you want where you want to show it okay so this is the best thing in the display ad and uh now uh suppose uh, uh, when you are just starting out i highly encourage you to stick with the search network first google search search ads because it has uh, of course they are the low cost then you can shift on over to the display advertisement as well if you have a good budget in your hand then of course you should try the display ads trust me you will get a lot of leads a lot of audiences on your website via these things so it's easier to get configured has a lower cost and it's much quicker and deliver return on your investment so we will check the uh, google ads structure so this is the interface so your google ads uh, structure looks like okay this you can see inside the google adwords okay you cannot see it on the google you can see it inside the google adwords platform okay so this google ads is organized into the four tiers your account campaigns ad groups and keywords just the four things we have to remember okay
ओके योर गूगल एड्स अकाउंट वॉट एवर यू आर गिविंग योर नेम ऑफ योर कंपनी फॉर योर एड्स अकाउंट और योर नेम ऑफ द टीम यू कैन डू इट लाइक वन then in the tree structure it comes the campaigns campaigns 1 2 3 4 5 how much you have the campaign suppose if you are selling some uh, outfits here okay so uh, kids wear okay so here your google ads account in the kids wear you have two types the uh, you know uh, for the girls and the boys okay so these type of two campaigns you can create kids wear for the girls kids wear for the boys and uh, next after the campaign it's an ad group so in the ad group you can create sub category of it you can say it like uh, it's a boys so boys uh, shirt boys uh, you know jeans boys accessories like that same for the girls if you set a girls uh, kids wear campaign here in so girls uh, frocks girls uh, accessories and uh, girls toys and everything like that whatever you have uh, products with you whatever advertisements you want to run i'm just giving you the example okay so uh, uh, below the ad groups it's an keyword and the advertisements again below the advert it's a combination of the keyword and the advertisements keyword advertisements and so this is the way how the google ads are so in the keywords you have to put the keyword like if you are run the ad group for the uh, you know the, the kids wear for the boys shirt so you have to put something keywords related to only that and then here you have to create the ad creatives so you can create the multiple advertisements you can put the keywords uh, multiple keywords for the particular ad groups so this is the basic structure of the google ads because uh, in this video i'm just telling you the basic structure basic layout of the google ads because uh, just you learn this you take the screenshot of it and if you have to organize the all the google ad campaign like this uh if you will remember this then uh, that is the best thing for you because in this is the perfect way to organize your advertisements and this is the perfect way how the advertisements runs on the google ads platform uh so uh, this is uh, uh, the google ad structure uh, you can see you can take the screenshot of it and i know this sounds very complicated at this time if you are learning uh, if you are a beginner you will get overwhelmed so uh, i would recommend you just uh, learn it one by one go it step by step this is just an overview i'm giving you for the google advertisements uh the the time when you will uh, do the practice uh, of the google ads then you will understand it thoroughly okay so for now just remember the structure uh, like google ads structure is set up into the four layers it's in google ads account the campaigns ad groups and the keywords keywords and the ad you can see okay uh, so this is the basic layout of the google ads structure so thank you for watching this video and um, I hope you got about the Google Ads structure and uh, uh, Google Ads types. Thank you.